nice to go out to the beach too during this time of year because we still have the warm temperatures. Now for today, the rip current risk, by the way, for any beachgoers at a moderate level, but because the winds are going to be increasing and turning out of the northwest later on today, that's probably going to make the rips a little stronger out there into later today and tomorrow. Just keep that in mind. Also, we have a front coming in, another front that's moving over the panhandle, and that is reinforcing much colder air mass for the panhandle today. The highs only in the upper 50s in Pensacola, barely getting to 60s. Uh, pa Panama City and Tallahassee both with the forecast high of 60 degrees. And then you can see basically northern half of Florida in the 60s. Then you got southern Florida, more like the 70s and low 80s. So yeah, we're out ahead of the front this morning. We feel muggy and it is a mild start. On the Vipercast shows us that the front passes through basically by late morning into lunch hour to the south of us. That's why those winds turn out of the north northwest by then but because this morning we're starting off with a southwest wind and we're out ahead of the front it is mild out there temperatures in the low to mid 70s here's a look at those winds so the wind speeds increasing right now at 15 or close to 15 miles per hour in Okeechobee and already starting to turn as you can see uh, the changes of course coming in from the north working their way south now highs will still get into the low 80s but Tonight's lows will fall into the 50s. So that's going to make us a chilly start for our Tuesday morning. And by the way, Tuesday turns out to be mostly cloudy too. And that's going to keep our highs cool with wind still out of the north in the mid 70s, 70s through Thursday, then back in the 80s by Friday.